Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. On the last episode, we uh, actually got to meet Reen's sister in more than just small little cutscenes. And Reen changed into some light haired thing from whatever was going on with the scar. So, most likely eventually gonna find out about that more. But for now, I think it's time for that practical exam. All right, it's the time you've all been waiting for, your next practical exam. Are you sure you don't want to sit this one out and just watch me? I'm sure I've got enough rest in the past three days to make a full recovery. In fact, I'd say I feel even better than usual. Well, if you say so, in that case, you're up first. Now choose a partner, okay? Who do I want to be my partner? Hmm. Elliot, you're with me. Can't choose anybody else though. Alright, cool. All right, cool. Your opponent will be, let's see, how about Laura and Fee? We'll go with them. Seriously? That, that's how you gonna play this game? Very well. Okay. A little on the blatant side today, you think? Well, this should make for an interesting battle, if nothing else. Laura and Fee have a clear advantage when it comes to strength and speed. They're both formidable opponents, but I think we have a good chance on winning this one. As long as we make use of our combat links, this fight ought to make ought to be ours for the taking. Okay. Take your positions. Hmm, I think I've made a good choice with Elliot, actually. Begin. Don't you dare hold back. Don't worry, I won't. Okay. Here we go. I'm using items and I can rid of craft. Okay, so obviously I'm going to need to use passion for my faith. Uh, right. Give it up, everyone. Huh. To be able to meet the condition for. <laughs> passion because he uses CP for his heals. I'm going to push me back. Shatter! <clears throat> right! You can't lower my defense. What are you thinking? <laughs> Here! <clears throat> Mine won't work either. Right! So resisted. Okay, so let's see. Oops. Let's just analyzing enemy attack because it has that bounce down effect and stuff like that. Analysis complete. My turn. Here. I think I made a good choice grabbing Elliot. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I didn't even expect this. Shatter! I won't use my Ashcraft on the next turn. 
As a matter of fact... Good night! Oh, Warby linked up. I'm All right, motivated. let's do this. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Go. I'll pick you up. Target locked. Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Missed. <laughs> Okay. Let's use another sounding beat. Give it up, everyone! The defense and then the 30% HP is just. Shatter! How can you pass that up? Miss! Go! I'm finna finish. Well, Laura should be finished. <laughs> I don't know about B. Oh no, this fight is done. <laughs> this is done. That's that. Let's keep moving. <laughs> oh, that was done. I had the boost from uh, Motivate as well. <laughs> Along with that extra attack for it being at 200. <laughs> oh, that was over with. Alright, that's enough. Reen's team scores the victory. <laughs> Excellently done, both of you. Thanks. As for you two, I don't even think I need to say anything, do I? No, instructor. She just not. Okay, let's move on to our next pairing. Teams for the next two-on-two -two battle will be doesn't even matter because the only one that has to matter is the battle with Reen and Lauren feasting. You did pretty well up there, Reen. But we really but we're really gonna have to do something about those two. Yeah, it's not like they hate each other or anything, at least I don't think they do. So I feel like if they just get a good push in the right direction, yeah, you're right. Looks like you're really back in fighting form though. Yeah, never felt better actually. I don't want to drag this out and end up worrying at least. <laughs> Two days ago. I'm sorry I caused such trouble for everyone. Thank you so much for going to the trouble of preparing a bed for me. Oh, don't worry about that. Our maid can do that without even without even breaking a sweat. <laughs> it's true. You can say that again. She was well prepared. You'd think at least had called in a reservation. <laughs> That's Sharon for you. Reen, are you sure you're alright? Yeah, I'm still sore all over, but that's nothing unexpected. Compared to the kind of training Master Confi used to put me through, I feel like I got off light. <laughs> but but still. Well, he doesn't appear to have any sprains or pulled muscles. Should be better in a couple of days. I see. But I can't help but feel that if I hadn't been so careless, if I hadn't gone into that building in the first place, <laughs> well, in a way, it was Reen's fault too. True, he got what he deserved for being so insensitive. Hey, what I'm saying here is that all of y'all are being insensitive. I mean... Reem was just doing what he felt was right, and you guys got all fed up in your feelings, and you guys were eavesdropping in the conversation that you shouldn't have been in in the first place. So who's the insensitive ones now? <laughs> I would have hoped that, as an elder brother, you'd conduct yourself in more of a seemly manner. Shut up, Juices. Well, you're not wrong. In a way, they are. <laughs> I don't agree with you, Reem. <laughs> but do you think you could maybe not all gang up on me at once? Well, can't really blame them this time. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you, Reen. Your family is your family, no matter what. Okay, okay, I get it already. Sure, they are, but that doesn't mean squat. 
It seems everything turned out well in the end. Still, we're no closer to unlocking the secrets of that giant armor. Or the red door it was hiding behind. Yeah. All we know is that that red door showed up after we cleared the first floor of the old schoolhouse. Fourth. And then when Elise went down there, it opened up and that hooking armor came out. You said you heard a voice coming from the door, right? Yes, I think so. I'm afraid I don't remember much of what it said, though. All I remember is it says something about fourth lock and first trial. And an awakener, too. Whatever that is. You should be commend for recalling even that much after what you've been through. At this point, it really does seem as though there's something significant hidden deeper in those ruins. Can we really call those ruins right now? I mean, you I guess you could, but... I don't know. I, I just don't feel like they should be being considered ruins. It doesn't seem like it was natural to be considered ruins. Ruins are like stuff that comes from old times. Like, let's say that there was an ancient civilization and then they all died out. And then over a couple thousand years, the place started to crumble apart and you can go just deep into the, into the ancient civilization, deep into the thing. Those would be like ruins. This is a this is a thing that was built by something or created by some kind of like magic or something. And then had a building built over it. I don't think I can call that ruins. <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to presume anything else, isn't it? I think from now on, it might be a better idea to leave the old schoolhouse alone. What? What do you mean? The reason I sent you guys there in the first place was because I thought it might make a good training ground. But after what happened with Elise, and with that elevator appearing, I feel conflicted about letting you go back. The principal is thinking about rescinding his request for you guys to investigate that place too. But... I object. <laughs> Fee, it's ideal for us to keep ourselves trained for battle, right? And it seems like fighting down there encourages us to cooperate better too. As much as I may lack weight, as much as it might lack weight coming from me, I'm inclined to agree. The effectiveness of combat links truly comes from the fore there. Comes to the fore there. Yeah, the winds seem to suggest that to me as well. There's no denying it's dangerous, but I feel like I'd regret it if we just stopped here. Yeah, I have so many questions about that place, and I want some answers. I agree. Guys. I feel the same. Do you think you could talk to the principal and get him to change his mind? <laughs> Looks like I don't have much of a choice, do I? Alright, I can't promise anything, but... I'll do what I can to persuade the principal. But if anything else weird happens in there, I want you to report it to me immediately. Is that clear? Yes, Instructor. Green. I'm afraid I still can't accept your position. Oh. That you don't wish to succeed father as head of the family, or that you enrolled here because of that. Honestly, it seems to me that you aren't even certain yourself what you want for your life. I'm pretty sure he's not, and because of that, it's like you've lost your way. Well, am I right? <laughs> I can't deny it. But this time, I was able to come back to my senses. I think enrolling here at Thor's was the best thing I've done for myself in a long time. It's given me a chance to start moving forward little by little, and I owe that to my friends here. Really? <laughs> Mm. I've got a lot to think about, but I want to find an answer that works, not just for me, but for you, mom, and dad, too. I know it's frustrating, but I hope you'll stick with me while I'm figuring things out. And I'm sorry for being such a crappy brother to you. Green. Passenger service bound from him dollar, now arriving on platform two. We ask that all passengers wishing to board, please wait on the... Uh, stop auto-scrolling! Oh. <laughs> Green, your dollar is not too far away. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon enough. We can talk about this more then, okay? Hey. All right, that's a promise. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's just. All right. You're really devoted to your sister, aren't you? Though I get the feeling it's way more than just devotion on her part. You think so? Oh, Reen, you are clueless. <laughs> it's not like I spoil her or anything, and honestly, she can get pretty harsh towards me sometimes. 
Uh -huh. I mean, I wouldn't say we get a long battle or anything, but... Wow, he really is totally oblivious. Yeah, completely. I mean, seriously. <laughs> She's 15, right? I've heard that nobles make their debut into high society when they turn 16. That's right, she'll be making her debut next year. I just hope she finds a guy who deserves her one day. Because I'm not letting just any old guy marry her, noble or not. <laughs> he really can't be dense sometimes. Oh yes, he is very dense. <laughs> Super dense. Be a crystal. I can't. It's worse than a rock. Oh boy. It's making me think back to a conversation I had before. Because there was another character that me and my friends talked about before. They can be like, really? I don't understand how you can be that dense. I mean, sure, you can be dense, but you'll get like. It bit a little bit and a little bit, but he's completely oblivious. I almost feel sorry for his sister. <laughs> Indeed. Nonchalantly stroking her head like that. Like her head like he did was kind of cruel. Are they talking about me? Yes. Alright, that brings this month's practical exam to an end. Next, it's time to announce this weekend's field study locations. Here it comes, the moment of truth. Ugh, where are they planning to ship us off to this month? Everywhere across the planet, apparently, Macus. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they sent you off to the other country that you're close to war with. There it is. There it is. The, uh, the group. So, by the way this order goes... See, the way, by the way that this order seems to go out every time, by the end of this field study, Laura and Fee shouldn't have as much problems to no problems at all. Also, Elliot's on the team, so that's cool. Machias is here as well, so I'm going to assume one of them is either going to be... I don't think we got an S-Craft from Machias, so it's either going to be Elliot or Machias who gets their S-Craft. We always get an S-Craft after a field study. Last time we got, um, I think we got Elisa's last time. And the time before that, I think we got, um, Juices's, but I don't care for Juices, so. It might have been Gaius. It might have been Gaius. Yeah, I think we went to his hometown after Juices's, so it might have been Gaius. We got Gaius and, uh, Juices, I mean, Gaius and Elisa in the same field study, I think. Hmm. I think. I'm trying to go off my memory, and it's not the best being short-term. Oh, it looks like both groups are going to the same place. Oh, that is. I didn't notice that part, actually. <laughs> I assume we'll be divided. We'll be dividing the work between our groups. Well, the capital is incredibly vast, so it seems like a logical solution. <laughs> Uh, you guys got a problem? <laughs> Group divisions aside, I'm certainly surprised at the choice of the capital as our destination. You shouldn't be. Instructor Sarah is up to something as well. Yeah, you and I will have the home field advantage considering we're both from there. <laughs> I guess this means I'll get to be in town for the summer festival after all. Uh, oh. Um, Instructor Sarah. Oh, whatever is the matter, my beloved pupil. Why are you up to some? Please don't call me that. <laughs> I would have said the same thing, actually. <laughs> I have no objection to our destination or the arrangement of the groups. But I can't quite shake the feeling I'm being used again. <laughs> well, Reen, that's because you are again. <laughs> Just get 
used to it. It's true. <laughs> it does appear you're the only one who changed groups from last month. <laughs> Seriously? It's like, you're making it even more obvious. That innocent whistling isn't fooling anyone. <laughs> Okay, I guess he's not as dense as I thought. I guess he <laughs> picks up on that. some things. And just she's other things are just... From the academy. He's much denser to other things, apparently. And only some things he picks up on. Let's just say that. <laughs> but we reached, we reached a rank. Oh, hopefully by the end of the next field study, if we can just get 12 points, we can go up to rank A7. Hopefully, I don't fail anything or miss anything because I do want to reach rank A0. I want to get up there. I want to reach the top. You did really. Okay. <laughs> Which means I can't fail no more tests. That was unfair. It's gonna make me do something that I don't normally condone. Call when we have the study session, go study with people until my limit is up, and then reset the game. And then study with the others. Jot down answers. <laughs> All right. This is our chance to discuss right. what to do before they get here. But to be honest, I don't really have any good ideas. How about you guys? I can't say that I do. Unlike me and Eusis, at least Laura and Fee understand each other to some degree. Our group's performance in last month's field study wasn't amazing, but there were no actual conflicts or anything. Yeah, that's all the more reason why I feel like we should step in and do something for them. But from what Elisa and Emma have told me, it seems like they have trouble connecting with each other. Yeah, that's the impression I get too. I think Fee's just responding based on how Laura is responding. I don't think Fee has any problem with Laura, but I think Laura has a problem with, has something against Jagger Corpse. And so she's given, so she's being a little bit more colder to Fee or something, something along that line. And Fee is just acting like a mirror. <laughs> It's not like they hate each other, they're just having trouble coming to terms with their differences. On the one hand, we have the daughter of a noble military family, a knight in shining armor as it were. While on the other, we have a girl who spent her childhood on the battlefield running with Jaegers. Their upbringings couldn't be more different when you think about it. Maybe their values too. You're right. I wonder if that's... I apologize for the delay. Hey! Good morning, Laura! <clears throat> um, <clears throat> my, you're certainly the early bird today. <laughs> I think she's usually up early. You needn't worry about us. We have no intention of causing trouble, and we're prepared to do what we can to form a combat link as soon as possible. It's not our intention to be confrontational towards one another. Is that not the case, V? Yep. Don't worry. We won't bring the group down during the field study. Well, if you say so. Um, that's not really what we're worried about. Anyway, we should finish up our preparations and head over to the station. I'll bet Group B is waiting there for us already. Agreed. Well, you are going to the same place. How are they always ahead of you, is what I'm wondering. The other group is always ahead of Ring Group. Probably because they stand here talking all the time. Well, they just go and they, they just get up and go. <laughs> they just get up and go, and then Ring's group is always talking. Or in the case of when it was Mackie and Genesis, they were arguing. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty basic, actually. Just, just being them. Yeah. Okay, so. Whew. Don't think the shop's got anything. And I'm not sure I really need any of their stuff. 
most likely I'll get the stuff that I care about when I actually reach my destination. Well, anyway, that is all the time we have for this episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. If you liked this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next episode.